uh, Wednesday practice uh, a little bit more, uh, not so much uh, uh, competitive versus one another. We do, we do have our appearance of that first gets first, but uh, it's a good passing up day. It's the last day we installed. Anything after the day on all sides of the ball is take out. Uh, no additions to scheme, plays, or what have you. So the kids will start grasping it better. Uh, and then on tomorrow will be a sharp day, sharpen up day. And I like we move around today, it's good, especially on special teams, did a good job. We're going to need that. And, but uh, all three sides, they're really competing. This is a good group, and they're ready to play a game. What about some of the guys that are injured that maybe had a chance, like Grayson, that he had a shot this week, or no, going to be gone for another uh, Great, Grayson, all those guys I told you. No, I didn't miss, uh, I can't remember now. But, but, but no one has a shot at coming back this week. No, on no, not that. Uh, we thought Stuart might have a chance. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Any new injury updates? Or anything? No. Uh -uh. Coach, what did uh, Quay Johnson do to earn uh, the first shot at kickoff and punt returns? Uh, compete. You know, it's a tight race between he and Davon. Beach is, uh, that's Davon's nickname, Beach is a competitor, and so is Quay. Uh, they both, I feel good both of them. There's, we got a plethora of guys can put back there. You know, Quay, Davon, Seven can get back there too. Uh, Aunt Scott can get back there. We got blessed to have a lot of guys that can get back there and catch it uh, and move it around. So, Quay's done a good job, and uh, but also Davon, you might see him back there too. All of them can do it. Towson's mm -hmm. a team that's given UConn, LSU a few games over the past mm -hmm. few years. Is that something you communicate to the team, or you just hope they realize that on their own? Uh, well, we, we we watch them and get a scheme, but it's never about who we play. It's just how we play. That's what we can control. And uh, they know because I've coached at that level. John Wiley has coached at that level. Really, all of our staff, most of coached at that level. So. Um, we're not taking anybody lightly. We're not thinking past them, and we're not really. We know we can control them, but we can't control how we practice and prepare. And we sort of do it like that. Even we approach it that way for six years, so we don't. You know, that's what I feel comfortable with. We feel comfortable with presenting to them, uh, respect who we play, and know them and watch film, but uh, not who they've beaten in the past. Uh, but it's how we play, and not worry about the scoreboard, but just how we perform each play, and one, one play at a time on Saturday. Or, for Saturday, we've got we to have a great Thursday tomorrow and a great Friday and a Saturday morning. I'm looking forward to that part. And then we'll see what's what uh, 6 o'clock on Saturday. I know they'll be ready to play. Rob's a good coach. Uh, he won the Eddie Robinson head coach of the year award, made to the finals, uh, uh, national finals. So he, he recruits some good kids, especially at Maryland area up there. So uh, we know what we're getting coming in here. We don't underestimate them at all. Well-coached team, uh, a lot of skill set, great skill sets.